Hey everybody, my name is Deja and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my May TBR. So I have not sat down in front of the camera in a minute, basically since March, because I decided in April I was going to take a break from YouTube because obviously, if you don't know, I'm in college, so the end of the semester, my last day of class was the 23rd of April, and then my last final was the 1st of May. So basically, that month of April was just kind of crazy and I had a lot going on because when we are getting towards the end of the semester it's not just stuff for school but i'm also a resident advisor so we have a lot of stuff going on at the end of the semester that's just really crazy so i decided to take a break i was feeling very overwhelmed and i had like a lot on my plate and i was feeling just very stressed so i decided to take a little break but we're back and i actually did film an april tbr but i did not ever edit it and publish it so for this month, I'm not going to do like a punishment or go over my TBR for last month or anything like that since I never posted it. So we are just going to go straight into the TBR for this month. But first, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, and that is Ana Luisa. I love working with Ana Luisa so much. They are absolutely my favorite jewelry brand. All the jewelry that I wear is from Ana Luisa except my Apple Watch, and that's literally it. But my necklace is from Ana Luisa, and I have a matching bracelet. And then they sent me these earrings, which I really like because... I am more into like dainty jewelry but I feel like there's something like about these type of like hoops that are very elegant that I really like so I'm trying to move towards more like elegant jewelry that's kind of what I really like and I feel like Ana Luisa is definitely for those type of people who really like elegant jewelry dainty jewelry but they also have some bigger pieces so I feel like there's kind of something for everybody and with Mother's Day coming up I think Ana Luisa is the perfect gift to get someone in your life whether it's your mother your grandmother your wife your sister yourself anybody i feel like anybody in your life would love a piece of Ana Luisa jewelry and as i said there is a lot of like matching pieces like my bracelet and my necklace match and so i feel like their pieces are very cohesive even if they're not in a matching set they do really go together very well and as i said they have a lot of dainty pieces but a lot of bigger pieces as well another piece that i got was a set of bigger hoop earrings but i also have these really like dainty kind of earrings that have a moon and a star and one thing i love about Ana Luisa jewelry is i'm the type of person that once i put the jewelry on it's not coming off for a long time i'm wearing it in the shower i'm wearing it to sleep i'm wearing it in the rain in sweat and everything until i feel like it's time to change it like i just changed out my earrings but i had my other earrings in for a couple months so that's what i really love about Ana Luisa is that their jewelry is tarnish free and another thing that i also really adore about this company is that they are carbon neutral so everything that they do is completely carbon neutral so you know that you're doing something good for the environment and they are affordable as i said i'm a college student i'm balling on a budget and i love that Ana Luisa is really affordable and i can get some really high quality good for the environment tarnish free beautiful pieces of jewelry for myself or the ones that i love this company is just one of my favorite companies and they are my absolutely favorite everyday jewelry company by far so i'm going to have a link down below for you to check out Ana Luisa and thank you again so much for sponsoring this video so now we're going to get into my tbr if you don't know i do a tbr jar and a tbr spinner wheel the tbr jar is basically i pull out one book every single month and it has a book on it from my actual shelves and i haven't played any of the books that i bought from 2024 yet so it's more like my backlist books that i own that are in this jar and i pull one out every month and if i don't read all the books by the end of the year I have to unhaul the ones that I didn't read and I'm actually like three books behind I have not read the books I think since January so I'm gonna be doing a video this month where I read the TBR jar picks that I have but I'm gonna still pick out another one and then my spinner wheel is basically prompts but before we get into that I'm gonna talk about my patreon book club pick if you don't know I run a patreon which is super fun I love it over there we do reading sprints we do movie nights we have a discord book club live shows extra videos all of that is on my patreon so if you're ever interested in joining we would love to have you it's always linked down below so but i have not actually posted the polls for our pick for may so i will pop in to this video at a later date probably during editing and tell y'all what book we are going to be reading in the month of may so i am popping in to tell y'all what my patreon book club pick is for this month and my patrons voted because they do get voting power every single month i choose around four books for them to vote on and i do ask in the discord and everything like that what new releases or backlist books they want to put on the list so these books are really chosen by patreon and so we are going to be reading immortal pleasures by v castro this month which is a newer release that um is 
just came out in April, I believe, this past month. So we will be reading that for May. And I'm really, really excited for this pick because I love Goddess of Filth by this author. And that was a shorter kind of novella. Well, this one is a film length novel. It's about 300 pages. And it's about an ancient Aztec vampire that seeks vengeance and love in this seductive dark fantasy. So it's kind of like fantasy and horror combined together. And I also love vampires as a metaphor, especially in horror. I think they can be done so, so well. And just using them I feel like they stand for a lot of different things and that's why they've been so popular in our culture for so long in a variety of different medias and genres so I am really excited so as I said she's an ancient Aztec vampire and now she exists in the modern world and she is a mortal avenger reclaiming stolen artifacts and she is in Dublin and she encounters two men who fulfill her desires in different ways one is a mortal horror novelist intrigued by her condition and the other one is an immortal companion who shares her darkness. So I think this is going to be really really interesting and I'm excited to see how these two men come into play. So that's what we will be reading in May. We are also doing a Hunger Games read along because that's actually the series that got me into reading the way that I do and what's got me into booktube. So it's very nostalgic for me and I haven't read it since I first read it back in 2013. So I wanted to do a read along where we read the original trilogy and then also the ballads of songbirds and snakes, which I have never read. We actually started this read along at the beginning of the year, but I decided to push back the readathon because as I said, I was taking a break. I was still very active on Patreon, but this extra readathon, I decided to push back a month. So technically we are reading the ballad of songbirds and snakes in the month of may but we don't have our live shows until the middle of the month so we will be having our mockingjay live show in the middle of may and so i will be reading mockingjay this month to complete that and then we'll be having our live show for the ballad of songbirds and snakes in the middle of june so that's the plan i'm really excited to wrap this original trilogy up i love catching fire so much and hunger games in general is just like iconic so i'm really excited to wrap this series up and like i know this one's probably gonna rip my heart out because there's one death in here that i remember that really had me like sobbing so <laughs> we'll see if that happens again sorry if y'all hear the geese outside we have a lot of geese by my apartment complex and some of them just had babies so they've been extra noisy lately but i also want to talk about the readathon that i'm going to be participating in in may and that is escape the readathon hosted by lexi from books with lexi this is a really fun kind of more complex readathon that takes place mostly over on discord like you definitely need to join the discord to participate basically there are different teams and they are all trying to escape this kind of carnival setting and there are two prompts that they each get they try to read to escape the readathon so basically one of the prompts is correct and one of them is not and once they re reach a certain threshold of the correct prompt read they are able to escape that room and it continues on and on until the first team completes all the escaping and escapes the entire carnival that's a really bad explanation of it i will have lexi's video linked down below because she explains it way better than i ever could but i'm actually a game master so i'm not on any team or anything like that and i don't have any specific prompts i can basically read whatever i want but i'm going to be trying to read a lot this month because the more that i read the worse the teams do if that makes sense so my goal is to kind of like hold the teams back a little bit and so yeah i wanted to also talk about this readathon because i am really really excited to participate now for the tbr jar as i said each of these little papers correlates to a book it actually correlates to a row and a column on a spreadsheet so i'll pull that up and we will see what it is and each of the colors actually does correspond to a genre but i'm not going to keep that up the 2024 releases or the books that i purchased in 2024 i should say they're just going to go on like white paper or something so i don't like to look because as i said each color corresponds to a genre and there are genres that i prefer over others so I like to just reach in and pick one, but normally they start to fall out because I like to dig deep. So I'm pulling one out. And this one I believe is YA or middle grade fantasy. So it's A10, which is a song below water, which I actually just bought in a physical copy. I had an ARC edition of it, but I saw it at these bookstores for like $5. So I just bought the copy. Let me go get it. So here is A Song Below Water by B Bethany C. Morrow. I couldn't remember the author's name, but this one says it's a captivating modern fantasy about black mermaids' friendship and self-discovery set against the challenges of today's racism and sexism. So I feel like it's going to have a lot to say about racism and sexism and have a lot of good commentary, but it also is about, about black mermaids and friendship. So I'm really excited 
to try this one out because I feel like this is the perfect time to start reading about mermaids as we are heading into the summer so I'm really happy that this is actually the one that I got for this month. Now moving on to the TBR wheel. Basically this is just a wheel of prompts and I pick five every single month to do and if I don't complete them I take a punishment which yeah and I am allowed to swap out prompts so if there's a prompt that I pick a book for and I ended up not really wanting to read that book that month I can swap it out for a different one but we are going to pick the first book I'm making sure the audio is on because I love the little sound effect that it makes so we are going to do our first spin. We have a book that has my favorite color on it. Actually, I have two favorite colors. My childhood favorite color was purple, but my current favorite color I would say is green. I like very specific shades of green though. I don't like, like this color of green is kind of nasty to me. It's more like a chartreuse, I guess you could say. But I like very particular colors of green, but I would still say green is probably my favorite color currently. It's the color that I wear the most. It's the color of my bed. It's the color of my backpack, my water bottle. So I would say green is probably my favorite color. So let's find a book that has green on it. Okay, I have some options here that I picked out. So the first one is You Shouldn't Have Come Here by Geneva Rose. This one I've heard really bad things about, but I love Geneva Rose, so I picked it up. So I don't think I'm gonna go with this one because I've heard such bad things, but I'm gonna read it eventually. Next up is First Lie Wins, which is a book of the month pick that has been super popular lately. It's a recent release thriller. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to pick that one either. Then I have nothing to see here, which is more of like a mint. Um, but this one's about exploding children. And I've heard really good things about it. The people that I know that read it have given it five stars. Then I have Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, which is one of my books for my 24 books to read in 2024. So I should definitely probably read it as well as Jade City is also on that books um, of 24 books to read in 2024. And then I also have Chlorine by Jade Song, which has this mermaid tale. This is the one that I'm actually leaning towards, but I also already have a book that has mermaids in it but that one is like a YA fantasy this one is horror so I don't know and then also there's a book that I've been really wanting to read called Bloom by Delilah S. Dawson this one is a sapphic horror book that I heard is amazing for spring and I've been really wanting to read it but the cover it does have some like greenery on it but I don't know if I would say that it has a lot of green on it but it just says cover has my favorite color that's what the prompt says so it does have some green on it. I'm looking at the cover and it does have some greenery. So I think I'm actually going to go with Bloom by Delilah S. Dawson just because I really, really want to read it in the spring. I think it's the ideal time to read it. So this is the one I'm going to be going with. Now we're going to move on to the second spin. We have a nonfiction and ooh. I'm not really in a non-fiction mood and I also do get one veto every month where I can veto a prompt and just re-spin. So I think I'm going to veto this one? Maybe. I don't know. I just don't know any non-fiction I really want to read right now. Yeah, I tried to do some research and just none of the non-fiction were calling out to me. So I think I'm going to veto this pick, which vetoing a prompt this early on is kind of dangerous, but we'll see. So going for an actual spin for number two. We have a Hoopla audiobook. So this one is definitely not hard to do at all. If you don't know, Hoopla is a library app. Not every single library has it, but it is basically where you can... My library is 21 days, so you could check out a book for 21 days. You get a certain amount of borrows per month depending on how much your library gives to you. I can't remember how many my library gives out to me, but it's quite a bit. So I use Hoopla a lot and I never run out of picks. So I'm going to look on Hoopla and see what books are piquing my interest and we will decide so last month even though i did not post my tbr that i filmed i did still pull a book from my tbr jar and that was kiss cut by karen slaughter and i did not get around to reading that one this past month because i haven't been slumpy i just haven't really had the time to read so i am going to be doing a video this month as i said where i read my tbr jar picks and kiss cut is on hoopla so i'm gonna go with that one just kind of make it a little easier on myself this month we are going in for a third spin. We have a blindfold pick. Okay, so a blindfold pick is basically me just 
picking a book with my eyes closed so I have my TBR cart right here but honestly I have a stack of books over there that I've been books that I've recently purchased and I am really interested in a lot of those books so I think I'm gonna pick from that so let's head over there okay so the stack is right here and it goes all the way down to the floor and so I'm gonna close my eyes we're gonna do the honor system so I'm you know, I'm just gonna have to believe that I'm gonna close my eyes to pick the book and all of the spines are turned facing this so I don't know which book is which um, so I'm closing my eyes now and I'm gonna just start um, I feel like I want to stay towards the top because those are the books that I've most recently purchased um, I feel like there are some good picks towards the bottom as well but I do want to stay towards the top I know that this is the natural series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes and I read the first one and I really liked it so I do want to continue on but I feel like that's not blind pick because I can tell because in a box so I think I want to go with one of these paperbacks right here because they seem kind of small I think I'm going to go with this one right here okay it is this book called no one needs to know by Lindsay Cameron I just got this from my used bookstore sorry for that weird angle that happened but that's how I had to do to pick from that stack and I got no one needs to know by Lindsay Cameron this is a thriller I recently picked up from my used bookstore and I believe my friend Haley recently read this and really enjoyed it and that's why I picked it up I believe that it's about a group of um it says in Manhattan's exclusive Upper East Side. I think they have this app that's similar to Yik Yak. If you don't know, Yik Yak is a very popular like college app because it is anonymous and you can post within a certain like radius. It's like you can see everybody's post within five miles of you and you can post anonymously and read anonymous posts from there. So I think they start exposing each other's secrets. So I'm really excited to pick this one up. It sounds good and it's pretty short. So now we're going to be going in for a fourth spin. We have a book over 500 pages. Amazing. Okay, so I basically have three options for this because all of these books are my 24 books to read in 2024. So I have three books. The first one is House of Flame and Shadow by Sarah J. Mass. I still have not read this, even though this is like my favorite Sarah J. Mass series. So I definitely need to get on it. Then I also have Jade City by Fonda Lee, as I said earlier, and Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. These two are both around 19 hours on audio. I feel like it's easier for me to understand the length of a book based on audio I believe these are over 500 pages I actually did not check they just looked big to me this one is almost 800 pages because it's like a smaller copy and then this one is actually it's exactly 500 pages with the acknowledgments so I think this one's out of the running so I think we're gonna be between House of Flame and Shadow and Little Women um I think I'm gonna go with House of Flame and Shadow just because this one was one of our most anticipated releases of the year. It is 29 hours on audio, so it's 10 hours longer than this, but I'm gonna need to read it eventually. And as I said, my semester is ending and I'm moving back home in May. So I will have a lot of time to listen to audiobooks while I am packing everything up and unpacking and everything like that. And for two weeks, I'm not doing anything. I mean, I still have my remote job that I do, but I can listen to audiobooks while I do that stuff as well. I will not have any school. I will not have anything else. I am doing a summer internship that comes along with one summer class. So it is like a lighter summer for me because last summer I was taking I think I did three classes and I did my remote job and babysitting so that was a lot I'm only doing one class an internship and my remote job um, but for two weeks of May I will literally just have my remote job no school no internship no nothing so I think if any month is going to be the time for me to read a big book like this it's going to be this month so now we're going to do our fifth and final spin hopefully something good and not terrible because that'll make me really sad we have a seasonal read. Okay, perfect. I think because I'm still really drawn to this book, I'm going to go with Chlorine because as I said, I feel like it's the perfect time to read books about mermaids and stuff like that because it is coming up on summer and it's going to be getting hot here in North Carolina. We've already had some like 80 degree days in April and everything like that. So now is going to be the time to read these books and this one is really short. So I think this is going to be the one that I'm going to go with. Now to wrap everything up, I'm going to be having my Patreon book club pick plus Mockingjay. Then for my TBR jar, I got a song below water. And then for my TBR spinner wheel, I have No One Needs to Know, House of Flame and Shadow, Chlorine, and then Kiss Cut and Bloom I don't have here with me. Bloom, I don't physically own Kiss Cut, I do. And then I'm doing my TBR jar video, which is going to have 
um, two other books in it that are not on this list and then I also have one other reading vlog I want to try and do this month where I'm reading my most anticipated releases of the year uh, quote unquote some of them so I want to do that as well which I plan on hopefully doing five books for it so this is kind of a lofty month but I think I can do it okay I think I can and so we're, we're gonna try okay so that is my tbr for the month make sure to check out annalisa which is linked down below and also the escape of the readathon which is happening in the month of may that is hosted by lexi from books with lexi i'm super excited for this month and i'm super excited to be back with y'all because I, I missed y'all so so much but I just needed a little break but that's all that I have for this video today. If you made it to the end leave a little mermaid emoji down below since we have two mermaid books on this TBR and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye everybody!